Hi everyone. I'm glad to be here because this is my first session for APG Band. So thanks for inviting me and watching my session. My name is Jung Sun Kim from South Korea. I'm going to introduce SQL Big Eyes MRI Develop to you in order to you can notice what this program and what can you do with this. This is the second time I have presented in English and I have been using translation program because my English is not perfect. But uh, translating English is also not perfect. Please understand it. I'm serious. I will briefly introduce who I am. I'm SQL guy. Of course, I have worked in other areas of IT, but I have been a Microsoft Data Platform MVP for 19 years. It was an unforgettable experience to be a co-author of SQL MVP Deep Dives with their other MVPs. Has anyone ever read this book? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the reader of past Korea chapter in Korea. I work for SQL World, a consulting firm, mainly SQL Server Consulting, Technical Support, and Lectures. Particularly, performance diagnostics, analysis, tuning, and troubleshooting is my specialty. I have my own contents for training, as core training DB, DB tuning, PLDB analysis, and more. Finally, I'm developing the software, such as SQL Server performance monitoring and Windows performance counter logo analysis. They are used by many companies in Korea. Hammer which I'm introducing now, has long been developed and released as freeware that my colleagues and some clients have been using in the field. I hope my software will be helpful to SQL users. So let's start with the, what SQL Big Eyes Hammer is. And of course you can already guess from the name, but I will introduce it. SQL Big Eyes Hammer is a tool that you can use to measure query performance, load the DB server, and assess its impact by loading SQL queries. There are features that are particularly necessary. Evaluate performance by running massive queries at the same time. If the query fails in the middle of execution, it should still be runnable. Show statistical information for each thread. It also supports reusing the scripts and optional values used in the test. Uh, SQL Big Eyes Hammer is a tool that implements those practical needs. These are practical examples of how SQL Big Eyes Hammer can be used. Uh, when I do SQL performance consulting or technical support queries requiring Technical support requires testing like this, and each time I use this to get practical help and develop additional features or actions that I need. In terms of content, these are performance issues that you can experience in common when using SQL Server. Measuring the performance of any query is fundamental, including changes in maxed up options, lock marking, parameter snipping and page latch related weights on temp DB or index base. Some of these will be shown directly in a later demo. In fact, there are already good tools available for these tests. Uh, these include OSQL, or a console-based tool provided by the SQL Server team or SQL Query Stress which is used by many users of SQL Server. I also use these tools usefully, but there were some limitations in practice that made me feel the need for new tools. That's why I started developing it, and now it's version 3. These are the key features I've implemented or needed. Let's uh, look at it in order from the above. It's going to be an MDI interface. You can enter more than 8,000 characters for query text. 
If it fails during execution, it should continue to run. Show performance already the statistics for each thread. I wish I could also see the statistics graphically. Application even took into account the load of processing core results or it needed to output the results directly. I also needed the ability to type multiple query text and run it by uh, line by line. The ability to store and load test information into a file for reuse. It will also be a good thing to show some basic performance counters. And although it's still in beta, I implemented the feature because I thought it, I thought I could test it on other DBMS like MySQL or MariaDB. If you download the it here, you need to change the extension according to the description from Hammer to EXE. There is also simple help file, but we don't need it anymore because of this video. There are mm, no special system requirements, CPU or memory. The more you have, the better. Now this is the interface of SQL Big Eyes Hammer. First, specify the sub connection information and then click Test Connection to confirm. Then open one or more Hammer window and run the queries you want to see the result. The sub authentication is also entirely here. Enter the query you want to test later and enter the name of target database. The number of iterations, the number of thread to run at the same time and the time interval for repeated runs. Additionally, the default state in the option is to view statistics selected and the graph outputs the average. If you turn up average output per thread, status grid is output per thread regardless of this option. And .NET use connection pulling as deeper, right? Other options will be available in a later demo. You can then click the run button to run the query or stop in the middle with the stop button. You, you, if you want to run or stop queries from more than one hammer window at the same time, you can click this button in the toolbar or menu. Finally, you can click this button to monitor some performance counter values in real time. So let's start with the basic gnosis. Run the SQL Big Eyes Hammer and test server connection first. Then you or open Hammer window. and type the query to test. Mm, database is Northwind. Set the necessary configurations options and additional options. I will have uh, one iteration, uh, 100 iterations, and one thread. 
and 500 milliseconds for sleep time. Then, when you load in, you will see the response time called duration that application experiences. If you have more than one thread, you can see the graph and grid results for each thread. And you can see whether it succeed or failed each time you called. Progress can be also found in progress bar at the bottom. Current information at the uh, top, including current iteration and total lapse time. When the query fini is finished running, you will also know the ever over average. For multiple queries, You can select and learn only specific queries. Uh, thread 2, okay. This time we will increase the number of top increase the thread count 10 decrease sleep time 0 and long and then let's see queries using the DMVs on the sub side Already and we will run and check the DMBs. You can see the queries or load of the uh, SQL Big Eyes Hammer. You can also print out the query result to see their progress, change the value of top. For example, top two and iteration ten and threads two sleep time one hundred milliseconds. We can choose patch loads option with view results and then run the query. Okay, we query results, but uh, oh, argument invalid. No matter. Okay, we run the query. Okay, and this is the simple performance counter view. Unchecked patch loads with results. Run the queries. We can view performance monitor view with a uh, simple performance counter. Okay. Uh, it's a simple, isn't it? Uh, you will be able to use SQL Big Eyes Hammer in less than a few minutes, I think. Now let's take a look at some of the more practical examples. Here's the case. 
query state changes according to maktub option change lock blocking and parameter snipping issues and recompile impact page length weight in time db and that is the hotspot issue that occur on index page and this is also page length weight Let's start with Maxdoc. I'm going to open the first example. Okay, SQL Hammer demo for Power Query. I guess. Most of you guys already know about the max stop option. Uh, this option limits the max maximum number of CPUs when query is executed in parallel and actually affects the number of worker threads. As we run this query and train the max stop options on the server, we are comparing the results. Uh, 2000 iterations and one thread. Uh, zero sleep time, execute this query, and then we will check the results with the MP queries. First, let me set the max stop option to in one in order not to use parallelism. After running the query, we will use DMB query on the server to see the top namely the number of CPUs and the number of worker thread. DB is adventure works, sorry. And set max stop to one and run query. Okay. Um, it is currently being processed seriously, serially, sorry, as one. And query duration average is about uh, 300 or 200 milliseconds. You see? Now let's increase the max stop value to 4, A, and 0 and compare all the results. You will see an increase the number of uh, dog and walker threads, and you can visually see the duration is decreased, nearly doubled. Right? Please, do not get me wrong. Parallel processing is always fast, and serial processing is always slow. How about a? You see. Okay, then let's reproduce the lock blocking. One side is a blocker, the other Side is blocky. Uh, starter transaction update and then wait for 30 seconds and then put it to stop state and perform select in other session at the same time. Now you are going to see lock blocking. Okay. And run. Let's see the lock blocking. Okay. If you look at it with the MB query on 
the server like this, you will see the wait status for the log in the second session. Okay. Now let's also review this uh, parameter snipping. First, generating the posture. The first core retrieves auto date value for orders less than equal 2005. Subsequent calls will result in parameter snipping problem when retrieving orders less than equal to 2020. Slowing query performance the compiling the posture may result in parameter snipping issue like this pattern. So create the posture and then run the stood posture and we can view the results I'm sorry I need to check the I see. Okay. Subscan call will result in parameter snipping. So we need to recompile this to the posture. And then it may resolve the parameter snipping issue like this pattern. Okay. And then here is a look at uh, page let's wait type in tempdb. Page latch in TimeDB that uh, we will experience when you have a lot of DB concurrent users, especially if you are in creating and using a lot of temporary objects. This is a query that generates a temporary table, and we will execute this query with concurrent 40. Next, we can see a large amount of uh, page latch. Way in okay, DBID two means temp DB and file number three, right? And it shows the, all the same pace number sixteen, right? Finally, hotspot, which can occur when you perform a large amount of insert on the same index space. Open the hammer window. First, we create a table. Testing, uh, iteration one, thread one. Okay, and iteration one thousand and one hundred pass. And then insert iteration 
1,100. And then let's just see what kind of weight occurs on the server. We can see that there is a large amount of phase rate way in database. Oops. Oh, where is the copy guys hammer? Sorry. We run SQL big guys hammer. Open query hammer window. Because I already create a test table, I don't need to recreate table, insert test. So just insert values. Uh, 10,000 of iterations, 100 threads. Okay. Run. And now let's see. We can see that there is a large amount of page length weight. In DBID 23 means uh, you plan database and data file number is 1 and it shows the same data or index page. Okay, this is a hotspot. Cool. Here is what I have uh, prepared. Let's uh, wrap it up. Download SQL Big Eyes Hammer and practice getting used to it. Write, test, save query scripts for the scenarios you need so you can reuse them later when you need them. And whenever you need the query performance test or load stress test and other tests associated with SQL Server performance and reliability issues, SQL Big Eyes Hammer can help. Finally, this is my website. Of course, it's Korean. Other social media accounts. Thank you for listening to the end.